Uh, let's see, in an ideal world, easy, safe, and cheap tests for physiological correlates to performance, assuming those exist. Could we stratify sports competition by physiology, i.e. lean body mass, VO2 max, height, et cetera, to make competition fair? Why are they asking me this? I figured this is a question you would nerd out more than me. I mean, you could, so you, if you ha were the president of a sports organization, could do whatever you want, right? Because they're currently just, you know, private entities. Um, as far as would it be a worthwhile endeavor, well, that just depends on why you think sports exist in the, for in the first place. Are they for commercial interests to flour flourish? Is it for the spirit of the game, right? Do you subscribe to the Olympic Charter that inclusion and participation are, you know, the primary factors in athletics? Like, I don't know, it depends how you view this stuff. So I don't know that you need to have competitions uh, and or sports separated by body height, like you have a tall NBA league and a short NBA league, or you have like runners with high VO2 maxes versus low VO2 maxes, like do you have separate Olympics? Do you have like, you know, what's the SNL skit, like the all drug Olympics, <laughs> you know, like. I, so I really just think it depends on, on what, what the goal of sport is. I think right now, the way we, uh, have divisions in most sports. Uh, there's usually a gender division, and there and then there tends to be skill division. So either amateur and professional, or multiple like subcategories of amateurs. Sometimes in physique sports, there's height division. I mean, you know, there's things are just made. These are all made up, right? And so you could you just be making up other divisions. Um, we're assuming that the a lot of these things make competition more fair, but then you have to define what fair means and, and what are you prioritizing? Um, I don't know that I have a good answer for this. I will tell you if you are interested in this question and similar questions, there are two books I would recommend reading. One is called Sports in Society. It talks about the societal impact of sport uh, and then the impact of society on sport. Uh, and then, P, uh, sorry, uh, Edge by uh, Robert Pikey Jr. Both of those books explore t this topic and similar topics pretty in depth, and I think you could get some interesting ideas uh, about that. As far as what I would do, uh, I would convene a panel of actual experts uh, <laughs> across many different fields and try to come up with something that uh, everybody agreed upon, because anything I would come up with would have untoward knock-on effects that I couldn't possibly foresee because I am only an expert in a very small niche uh, uh, in, in the realm of athletics. What would you do? I would first say sports aren't fair. <laughs> sure, that's Just true. Period, right? And then um, I would add a reading recommendation on top of what you said. Sure. A dystopian short story by the name of Harrison Bergeron. Has anybody here read this? Yes fascinating dystopian story. Basically, it was the most fair, equal society imaginable. People who were too smart would have things implanted in their ears that would buzz off noises at a given frequency, so people who were too smart could not think enough to demonstrate that. People who could jump too high would have weights attached to their ankles, so they could not jump as high. Everything was made exactly perfectly equal. Sounds fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's fair though. But it was fair, but it was fair. Yeah, sports aren't fair. They're never going to be fair. They should not be fair from this sort of a perspective, right? If you had perfectly uh, equally matched physiological parameters, are you trying to get this to the point where everybody just lifts the same amount of weight? or swims just as fast. It's just a tie, first place to eighth, eighth place. The whole heat finishes at the exact same time. It's, it's what the, is the point It's the it's, it's the NASCAR uh, <laughs> approach, like you were using a stock car yeah. with a restrictor plate and then, you know, see who the best driver is. Yeah, but so this then, gets back to what Jordan was saying. What do you mean by fair and what is the point of sport, right? If there's going to be somebody who wins and somebody who doesn't, there is going to be, there must be some level of unfairness on some level. Right? Unless we're going to start genetically editing everybody to have the same genes, the same upbringing, the same access to training, the same coaching, all this other stuff, right? That's super fair. It'd be a very uninteresting sport to watch. So what is the point of sport? Right? Sports aren't fair. Deal with it. Yeah, or no. Yeah.
Ihr Hartel.